Mount Kailash of uh, the area of Tibet, the Himalayas. Is this pyramid-shaped mountain a nuclear reactor made by celestial beings? Mount Kailash is said to be one of the most mysterious places on our Earth. It holds as the secrets of a civilization that was advanced technologically, and although this mountain is smaller than the neighboring mountains in the Himalaya regions, no one has ever reached its peak. The mystery is behind its pyramidal-shaped structure. The 22,000-foot mountain is a sacred place to four religions, Hinduism, Buddhism, Jainism, and Taoism. It's the spiritual center of the universe, according to them, and devotees often call it the stairway to heaven. It's reportedly directly connects with them with superhuman divine beings. The Kalash Mountain is unique because it is a cone-shaped, and from one side a pyramid shaped from another, and that similar structures can be found in ancient Egypt, Egypt, ancient Samaria, and other disappearing civilizations of the earth. This pyramid-shaped object really is said to have some form of power, some kind of connection with the deity, said Philip Coppins, an author of the book The Ancient Alien Question. This enormous mountain is situated at, in the south of the Tibetan Plateau. There are other sacred Hindu places near this, such as Lake Mana Sarovar and Lake Rag Shastal, and according to legends, Man Sarovar's lake image was first incepted in the mind of Hindu deity Brahma before creating it on earth. Rakshastal was created by Ravana, a character from Hindu sacred text Ramayana, for the express purpose of garnering superpowers through acts of devotion and meditation to the supreme god Shiva, who resides on Mount Kailash. So Mount Kailash is the residence of Shiva. The faces of the mountain are strictly oriented to all cardinal directions, and there is always a snow cap on the top, which hinted that Mount Kailash is a huge pyramid around which other smaller pyramids are located. Some people believe that Mount Kailash is the point on Earth where the energy of the cosmos is accumulated. And according to some scientists, the area near Mount Kailash is an anomalous magnetic zone that affects mechanical devices. Now, I have uh, recently updated, uh, I posted a, a video concerning Earth's energy grid. It's, uh, I would say, six videos back. It's very important for you to hear this because it's just unbelievable what these uh, the ancients knew about the ley lines and the uh, electromagnetic uh, lines on Earth. That's where they built their temples for healing and for other things, communications as well, and energy production. And, uh, and uh, this is probably what remember we remember that Nikola Tesla was infatuated with pyramids and ley lines. And he talked about even creating matter out of energy. And if you go and see that video, Earth's Energy Grid and Secret War for its uh, Control, you'll understand why he said that. And from the beginning to the end of that video, there's a lot of information in there. Please see it, please hear it, because it's very beneficial for you to know what the ancients knew and what the scientists are just, just now beginning to discover. Um, they even controlled the uh, weather with, with the ley lines. But anyway, going back to this, the faces of the mountain strictly oriented on all cardinal directions. Mount Kailash uh, is a huge pyramid around which other smaller pyramids located. Some people believe that Kailash is a point on Earth where the energy of the cosmos is accumulated. There's actually a lot of points where the energy of the space is accumulated on Earth. Now, according to some scientists, the area near Mount Kailash is an anomalous magnetic zone that affects mechanical devices. From the book, The Great Plateau, being an account of exploration in central Tibet by G. C. Rawling, he says, in shape, Mount Kailash resembles a vast cathedral. The sides of the mountain are perpendicular 
and fall sheer for hundreds of feet, the strata horizontal, the layers of stone varying slightly in color, and the dividing lines show uh, up clear and distinct, which give to the entire mountain the appearance of having been built by giant hands of huge blocks of reddish stone. Interestingly, uh, in the ancient Buddhist texts, Mount Kailash is known as Mount Meru. British writer Colin Wilson wrote, Buddhists regard the mountain as a mandala, the sacred circle from which the sacred rivers flow like the spokes of the eternal wheel. Buddhists and Hindus believe that the gods really took a residence there. Around 1,000 kilometers from the Kalash in the Mogao Caves in China, Hungarian-born British explorer Oriel Stein found a sealed-off room containing nearly 50,000 manuscripts in various languages. It is believed that sometime between 500 BC and 1500 AD, Buddhist monks kept thousands of sacred texts and manuscripts in these caves formed as temples, which are also known as Caves of a Thousand Buddhas. Among these scripts and relics, there was a diamond sutra uh, on uh, uh, one of the uh, most historically important texts in Buddhism. In these ancient Buddhist texts, there was a drawing of a second century Mount Meru. After 100 years of ignorance, this ancient sketch came into the attention of scientists from an American multinational aerospace and defense technology company, Northrop Grumman. And according to him, the ancient illustration of Mount Maru looked exactly like the blueprint of a particle accelerator. We have a particle accelerator, of course, CERN in Switzerland. Arthur William Henry said, I went and compared the diagram of Mount Maru with an illustration of what's called a cyclotron, an atom smasher, which was used in the development of the A-bomb for the Manhattan Project. Could it be possible that the diagram of pyramidal-shaped Mount Kailash depicts a machine run on nuclear power? According to Henry, in Myths of Mongolia, the celestial beings dwelled around Meru, Mount Kailash that is, because of the energy that was emitted from it. It was a transmitter of this cosmic power that fed these celestial beings or kept them alive. And I think that power might have come from Mount Kailash, he said. This was not a place that actually put out spiritual energy, but what we're talking about is a place that produced raw energy, technological energy. Potentially, we're talking about a power plant, he said. Ancient astronaut theorists believe that the ancient city of the Indus Valley civilization Mohenjo-daro, we all know that there was, must have been a very ancient nuclear uh, disaster there. The uh, Indus Valley civilization Mohenjo-daro was destroyed in the nuclear explosion. The skeletons found in the area contain radiation 50 times more than a natural level. The theorists are puzzled because of such an event happening in the past, then to generate such an enormous amount of energy, there would be a nuclear power plant. Now, if we connect every dot, it would take us back to Mount Kailash, which in some sense could be that real source. And this is by House and Wise Vic by Vicky Verma. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support. My Patreon account, the daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.